This is my favorite five gram piece of metal. Thank you. Thank you very much. I hear all your crapping. <laughs> your crapping is very loud. <laughs> yeah, come on, man. All right, we're going to show you some motor boy. I'm going to show you the green crack. Who wants some green crack? I'm going to eat some chocolate. We're going to get going. All right. Oh, man. It's all, it's actually all, every cavity that you've got in your body that you open up. You can make noise in your nose, you can make noise in your mouth, you can make, make noise in your belly. So all the cavities as well, that sound comes from. You just got to learn to manipulate it. Anyway, so, welcome back to the Throwing Stones live crazy shit show. What are we going to do first? Okay, so, I've got some Moldavite prepared for you. I'm going to start here. So this is five grams of little cutoffs, little bitties. You put it in your fish tank. You can crush it up and snort it. Actually, don't do that. It's really bad for you. Um, so that's five grams. That's a hundred dollars. Twenty bucks a gram. It's like. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's like 30, 25 pieces or something. It's fucking cheap. And then here is 10 grams of the same thing. And that's 200. I will make it 190, okay? You bought a little bit more. We'll make it 190. There's 19 of you. 190, that's a good number. So we got $100, got $100 and 190. Five grams, 10 grams. I do have a giant piece. Fuck, I'll just blow your mind right away. Hold on. Hold on. 
This is available, actually, it's rare for me to have something like this available. But we might as well just go straight to the chase, okay? Here, I know you, you I, I can't even afford this, but this one's 79.6 grams. It's the biggest piece I've ever owned. And it is available for sale, and it is five figures, which means it's over $10,000. And it's actually priced less than what it's worth because I don't need the top dollar. But I know in other dealers' hands, this would be sticker price 25000 And they would probably take seventeen or eighteen. And this one is available. Fourteen would do it. Caitlin, we can sign you up. <laughs> 14. 14 is my lucky number. My lucky number. Yes. All right. So what's next? We're going to do... Let's make this easy here. Let's do this. Okay. So we've got some pendants here. These are all one price. They're $60 each. $60 each. One, two, three, four, five, six. Call out a number if you want them. Little pendants, all in sterling. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see, I'll keep those down here or something. Yes, yeah, so we just cut to the chase. We'll go right to the big boy. What are we gonna do about that? Okay. So, this is a half polished piece. It's polished here, and natural on the back. Oh yes, yeah. so I remember when Moldavite was cheap. I went to the Czech Republic for the first time in 2004 to buy Moldavite, and Oh my God, what I bought then that I kept for my collection now is crazy. It's stupid price. I can't even believe it. So I'm glad I held on to it. Just all of these prices that I'm going to give you tonight are old prices too. The prices have gone up, but that's okay. We're not raising our prices, but we've got good prices. We might even give you a little bit of a discount on some of them, but these are old prices. And I saw the new prices in Tucson. It was definitely 20% more. So it's just like, shit, what are you going to do? And the highest price, the, the really expensive stuff is fucking crazy. Oh, it's way worse than Ahawite now. It's crazy. But no, Ahawite's pretty bad because there's no supply. But, you know, somehow I find a way. Anyway, so that's 240. There's a nice little pendant there. Uh, we got these little six jabbers there. Those are $60 each. Or if you want to buy them as a group, you can do... Shit. We'll do 50 50 $50 a piece for the group if you like those. That's 300 bucks. Can't go wrong. You can definitely mark that up. Okay. Here's a wire wrap with... Uh, is there more? Uh, there's a Herkimer in there. I can't see. My eyeballs are not good. There's, I think there's a Herkimer in there. Is it? Yeah, there's a little... Wait. Yeah, there's a little Herkimer in there. It's good, very nice, complete piece, A grade. Yes. Yes, but the supply and demand is what dictates the price, and the demand of Moldavite is through the roof. It's crazy. All right, so look, that's a killer. Killer 220, oh man. Yes, you're here in time for the green crack, Amanda. You've, you're, you're, you've, got, you've got good crack feeling. <laughs> no, that one's not best it needs it. This one is from Stowe. Most of what I have, Stowe, not Stowe. It's from um, Chlum. Chlum. I don't have any best it needs it in the house tonight. I do have in the house, but not, in, not necessarily in the boxes. Anyways, we got some pendants there. Uh, then we got this type of pendant. Oh, man, that's a good rock. That's pu beautiful color. The beef with Moldavite, I mean, I wouldn't call it stupid spiritual mumbo-jumbo, but yeah, I mean, people want it for the energy, for the most part. It's uh, it's transforming. It really changed people's lives in a lot of ways. It does really weird shit, man, like more so than a lot of other stones, like Moldavite gives people metaphysical experiences even for people who don't really believe you know, like, it disappears for some people. Like, it just literally, like, my fucking Moldavite was sitting right there, and now it's gone, and then it disappears. And, I mean, who the heck knows what it really does? My theory is that when it disappears on people, it actually just 
shifts into another dimension and it's still working with you and working on you, but it disappeared and then it makes you lose the attachment and it's just like, oh, my motivate's gone. What am I going to do? And then, you know, you lose the attachment and then you go fucking buy another one. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> yes, they exaggerated. I know. TikTok is what blew it up. That's what made Moldavite go crazy in the last year and a half, mainly because of TikTok, because millions of people were all of a sudden like, I want Moldavite. What happens if you boof it? You know what? Here, you should buy that and you can try it and you tell me, uh, you know, if you give me a good report back, I'll give you something else, you know, like a like a present for doing it. But you got to do it on camera. <laughs> Yes, Moldavite, actually, honestly, like, I've been selling Moldavite for a long time, but I stopped selling Moldavite for a long time because I'm really good friends with Mike at Intervision Crystals, and that was really one of his main uh, lines for a long time, and I decided I didn't want to sell it because that was what he was doing, and that was before the craze, and, you know, two and a half years, two or two and a half years ago, when the craze started going bananas, I decided it was time for me to get back into Moldavite because I have a lot of supplies, I don't have any Moldavite beads. Uh, actually, that's not true, but I don't have any. I mean, I've got like this, but I don't have loose beads. But I've got something like this. And I have uh, I have new uh, bracelets on the way like that. Anyways, um, yeah, so I, I'd stopped selling Moldavite for a while, and then I decided to get back into it. And I started buying kilos again and whatnot. And um, yeah, so Moldavite's changed your life, and it changed my business. Like, as soon as the craze hit and I started selling Moldavite again, like, my business took a huge leap because it's one of my regular sellers, and it brings in people, and just in general, Moldavite has done really, really good things for us here at Throwing Stones, and that's, you know, also why this Mama Jamma ended up here. <laughs> Necklace. Um, I can get you beads, but um, probably not round beads, more like this. I can get these. I wonder if I can get these loose. I know I can get them loose because I can buy strands of them. I just had bracelets made. I probably should have just gotten a strand um, to undo so I can do beads. That's you know, I'll figure out maybe next time how to do that. Or I don't really want to take apart one of my uh, bracelets. But So this one's 835 my price on the mold, my replacement cost on the Moldavite beads is literally three times what I paid the last time, and it wasn't that long ago. So it's just like, holy shit, you got to be kidding me. The prices are just going bananas. So beads, I mean, if you're okay with this style of beads, then I will get some loose. Not a problem. Uh, I guess we should leave this out. Um, yeah, eight thirty-five on that. Could probably do a little better. Uh, check this out. This is the biggest, nicest, craziest pendant that I have. Look at this thing. This is just fucking ridiculous. It's all sterling silver. All sterling. Look at this ridiculous thing. This is just monstrous. Like, what? It's faceted. This is the biggest pendant that I have. And that one is 1500 Very nice. Very, very nice. Uh, I don't have a lot of raw Moldavite, but here is a piece that I do have that's raw. Um, it does have this imperfection here on the back side, so, you know, it's still really good for jewelry. I have raw chip. They just don't have, you know, like this. They just don't have holes in them. But, yeah, so, I don't know. I can figure out a way. Not a problem. I will find a way, but I have a lot of this. So, oh, you know what? Drilling a hole, that's a brilliant idea. I have a lot that I think are too small to put in jewelry. You just gave me an idea. <laughs> oh, my God. I will show you. Here, hold on one second. Yes. So this... This here, this is good for beads. We will make make little bit holes like this. We can do it. I have many. Yeah, the problem is, is drilling holes. You know, like I don't have a machine to drill holes and I don't have time to drill holes. I have a friend who does it, but he charges a lot. So I got to send him overseas probably to, you know, not pay like $2 a drill. It's probably what's going to happen. I'm, I'll definitely drill them. That particular box, I think, 
I considered it too small for the other applications that I was going to do, but now you guys gave me a good idea. Drilling all those would be a bitch, but not if you send them to India, <laughs> which is where I do a lot of my work anyway, so I'll just send them to India. So this is 300 This is technically underpriced now, but it is incomplete, you know, but it's only incomplete on one side. So like this is, it's got this E, look at this. This is, I love this feature of Moldavite, this little E. Yes, Caitlin, I will do that. Chips are too small for a ring, in my opinion. I have a bunch of stones that are bigger that I'm going to make rings and earrings. That's what the original plan was, was to make earrings. Um, stud earrings. Caitlin, this one, this is a monster. I would do 1400 1400 on that. My lucky number. I have faceted moldavite that's really small too that i cut like 10 years ago i have i have rings that are four and five four four and a half five five and a half sydney if you need i have tiny tiny rings i also have meteorite rings right now that are four four and a half five like solid single drill core drilled entire ring is meteorite it's really cool i just they're about to go on my etsy shop stud earrings was the original reason that i bought that parcel. I bought several kilos of these chips and I sorted them all out. Let's hear good old they took our jobs. What are you talking about, man? Who? Indians? Nobody took our jobs. I don't think she's claiming, Caitlin. Faceted Moldavite stud earrings. I can do those. I'm also going to do uh, nose rings because I've got really good little tiny facets. And I've got a lot of them. I cut a couple kilos into tiny little stones, I don't know, like 10 years ago. And I've just been sitting on them. And I'm going to do something with them. Now that you guys all want them, it's great. Uh, all right, so this is a cab that you can turn into jewelry. I've got to get the hair out of the video. Uh, this is polished and domed on this side and natural on that side. Uh, I guess the caveat as usual, all of my Moldavite's natural and guaranteed to be authentic. I've been buying Moldavite in the Czech Republic since 2004, and I know my shit. I have been uh, active in helping to solve some of the scamming of Moldavite and like helping to identify and ed educate people and whatnot. Siglana asking about a payment plan. I don't see the payment plan and obviously Caitlin if you want it and you're going to pay for it outright then that's the priority the priority is not a payment plan <laughs> so we'll talk about it I'm going to leave it open for whoever might potentially want to buy it outright and then I will consider a payment plan uh, let's see what is next oh you guys wanted to see rings for Team four 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 Allie got you on that Allie and I'm alone now so it's gonna take me a little bit longer to get all your stuff put away. I'm not used to stenographying and so let's do this. Allie. Um. Yeah. So what do you guys think about? Uh, I want to find a, someone else to help me host some of these shows and do in-between shows during the week and help me so that I can get more product available for sale at live shows without me having to do it all the time. Yeah, Etsy can be dicey. eBay can be dicey. Allie, I got you on 1444. Um, it's not about hate. If you're gonna If you're going to pay, you're going to pay. You were the first one to comment anyways and ask about the discount. So, you know. Ain't no hate. Ain't no hate up in there. Tell you what. All right. I've got a shitload of rings I can show you. So, Kaitlin lets me know if that's, I guess you say claim, so that's the deal on the, yeah, on the big one. So, we got you. That's good. It's a beautiful piece, Caitlin. It's amazing. It's the nicest, largest pendant I've ever had in Moldavite. You guys are awesome. Thanks for being good community. Good community.
Caitlin, do you have any other purchases tonight? I don't see your name. I guess that's the first one. Oh, um, let's see how we all do. Let's go with my skulls. Sorry, guys. I got to stenographer myself as well as show you. So, like I was saying, I would love some feedback. I want to try to find someone else who can help me do this so that we can offer more items, not just me on camera, but I can also assist and be on camera, but I'm not saying I'm actively looking, but I'm pretty soon going to be looking for someone most likely female that knows their shit and knows their rocks really, really well and can help me do this and provide more stuff. So just putting it out there, you know, if you guys think of anything and throw me some ideas. Oh, look at that. Is that the heart? It's a kitty cat. I live in Asheville, outside of Asheville, North Carolina. Look at this. There's a kitty cat. Or, or a wolf or something. That's fucking awesome. It's a heart, whatever you want to call it. Look, there's a little ear. Oh, it's so cute. There's a skull on the top. Oh, my God. Look at that. Oh, I'm tripping out now. I'm not seeing anything. Never mind. It's just that. It's just a, it's just a normal piece of mold right here. It's got the thingy on it. This is what you call it. Uh... It's got the nice sterling silver, this one's made in the Czech Republic and all that stuff. That one's $270. And like I told you earlier, a lot of my prices are old and do not reflect the current wholesale margins and markups. Because the shit went crazy again. It's like, oh my god, every six months. There's a, there's a little Herkimer up in there. Little Herkimer up in there. $280 up in there. That one there is in pretty. Well, there's Purdy. You guys all asked for rings. When do you want to see rings? Because I got a shitload of rings, but I got to make some space. I got like three trays of rings I can show you. Let's see. We'll do this top here, too. This is, I call the cage. This is like the silver cage type. They just make a cage about it. And that one there, 195 um, I do have a little bit more raw. I can show you some of that. Uh, I need to get my scale because where's my scale? Because um, I didn't weigh them. Son of a bitch, really? Where is the scale? Uh, right in front of my face. Of course, that's where it always is. <laughs> all right. So raw, all the raw that I'm about to show you, I do not have a bigger pendant than that. I do have bigger pendants, but not quite as big as that one. I do have some good ones, though, that are not shown. I'd have to dig them out for you. Uh, Svetlana, if you want to send me a message, a private message, I can work on that, either after the show or like tomorrow or something. Okay, so all of the raw that I have that I can show you, CSS, M-O-I-T, is going to be B-grade, which means that it has some damage. Um, but there's nothing wrong with it. It's just incomplete or whatever, and so that's that. Uh, for example, this one is $45. Call out the number of the price that I give you is probably the best way. I don't have these skewed, which is kind of a pain in the ass. I should probably just skew these. But So there's that part is incomplete there. This would be like, you know, if you cap it, you won't see that part. Still awesome and whatever, you know. I don't have any other. Uh, so this one's 50 I don't have any other raw that I can show you easily tonight with the exception of I showed these little chips uh, let's see this one's all this one's 48 so 4850 sorry 45 450 48 Allie wants the 50 I got you on that Gotcha, Matt Alley. Mm, let's see. All right, sweet. Uh, here's another little raw piece. This one's kind of got a little bit of character. It's got like a little indention right here. There's incomplete that and that, but still cool shape. And that one is 45 as well. Uh, Svetlana, do you want to C 
see Big Pendant right now, or can we do that after the show? I'd have to go dig in my drawer um, to find the big er ones, but I don't know if I have a lot of other big ones. That, that one was definitely the biggest. Uh, this is 190. What is going on with Simba? Uh, here's a bigger pendant. This is... I'll show you what I have in front of me. That's easy. This one's a thin piece, good size. That one is 300. Cool, thank you, said Lana. Mm -hmm. I do have some other really nice ones that are, have this type of pattern on the back that's really cool. It's got like a little bubble there. That one's 320. Okay, let's go on to rings. What do you think about that? Let's move this mamma jamma. Okay, duck. The thing about rings is I'm not going to show them one at a time because we don't have a lot of time for that. And that's a little crazy. So what are we going to do? We're going to blow your face and skull right wide open all at once. Okay, here we go. So these are the faceted, faceted ones. The sizes are here. They're not exact, so I have to keep. I have to check the size, but this is probably nine and a half to ten and a half. For example, somebody was asking about size 10s. Uh, let me zoom, you know, so there's like faceted. There's one style. I have a shitload of rings on Etsy too. Like most of them are already set up there. So there's other types that I don't have to show you tonight. But there's, those are faceted. And if you are interested in something like that, these run mostly 180 to 300 range. I do have fives, but I don't have fives in this style. Uh, one second, let me grab the smalls. So this is what I have. These are all fives. These are five and a halves. So, and these are, um, these are basically eighty to ninety dollars a piece, depending on the size of the stone. Like this one is eighty, and this one is ninety. And so I don't know how to show you more without not zooming in. So there's five, five rings right there uh, in size five, and I can double check if you want to tell me if you want to see one of those. I can take it out. Um, if none of those work, there's another five over there. And that's probably the easiest way to do it. So if you see something you like, let me know. If somebody else has another size that they want to see, um, like I said, this is 80 to 90. These are up to 300. 200 to 300 approximately is a few underneath that. And there's other sizes of these. These are mostly $90 a piece. And that's pretty much it for Moldavite rings, except what, can I see the first number seven? Um, did you mean in this tray or in that other tray? Sorry, I got confusing. So that's the first, that's the first one. Uh, who was it here? Miraculous Discoveries. Uh, here was another seven. I have to double check the sizes for sure so there you go that's a close-up on those this one's 80 this one's 90 uh, I'll put them here faceted tens um, yeah Caitlin I have a bunch that are in the 10 row some of them might be bigger than 10 but there are a lot of them let me double check with my ring sizer Um, yes, yeah, so let's see, like, uh, that one's nine and a half, so I know there's going to be a range here, it's nine and a half, uh, nine and three quarters, nine and a 
have nine and three quarters. Hopefully I get one that's a 10. That one's pretty close to 10. Almost a 10. You think that'll work? Let me check the rest of them. Uh, almost, also, barely on a 10. Same deal, really close. If you can wear just under a 10, that one's definitely a 10. So the, these last two are the ones that are like true tens, not nine and like seven eights or whatever. Caitlin, if either one of those calls you, I can work on a price. All right. Anybody else want to see Moldavite rings or what else do you want to see? I've got other Moldavite, lots of pendants. They're all in the 150, 300 range. Just a couple of cabochons. Um, and then I can show a couple more of those. I don't know if... Um, shoot, Ali, I don't remember what I had it. Yeah, there's plenty of size nines. I don't remember which way I had it, Ali. Thick band or thin band? That's the easiest way for me to tell. Crystals MW, I have lots of nines, I think. I have to double check, but I know I have nines. You talking about in this style? Because I have... Okay, thinner band, Caitlin. This one, what did I do on these? Um, this one I can do for 180. Caitlin, if that helps you. I'll probably put 220 on it. Small faceted eight. So I'll hold that one for you. And small faceted eight. Uh, well, let me go back to Crystal's MW. Are you talking about faceted or do you want this style? Because I have nines in this as well. Thank you, Caitlin. Let me write that down. so hard okay mw asked first so let's do that so nines let me check yeah this is kind of shitty to like have to sit here and do all of this but that's my fault for not having it done so eights. i don't know actually there's a nine that's the nine that i have i might have another one but for sure that's a nine i know all of these other ones are they were like nine and a halves so that might be the only nine that I have. The space turtle, did you even claim that one? Are you, which one are you talking about, Caitlin? Are you talking about the, the goby agate? Because I don't, I don't have a claim for that one. Are you? Yeah, I don't actually have the Gobi agate put aside for you. Um, let me see. Do I have a thinner band? I don't know if I have a nine, my friend. I have an eight and a half, and I have a nine and three quarters with the thinner band. Um, and then I've got some eight, eight and a halves. I don't have a nine with a thin band, unfortunately, in faceted. Um, let me check that one. No, that one's a ten. Yeah. No, this is the only true nine that I have. Uh, this one. Eight and a half is okay. Yeah, I definitely have eight and a half then. That's an eight and a half. That's thin band eight and a half. I 
might be the only thin one. So, got that one sitting there if you want it. All right, next, let's see, we had somebody wanted eight, faceted eight. Tracy Ann, are you still here? You want to see small faceted eight? Uh, this one can be one, uh, 170 on that one. No yellow, only sterling. It's definitely only sterling silver. I don't know what you mean by yellow. But yeah, definitely only sterling silver. There's no... No, oh, do you mean no gold? I don't have any gold. Oh, well, I have some gold pendants, but they're on Etsy. No rings. Okay, so I didn't get a response from Tracy Ann. Do you have any more large LDG? I'll message you afterwards. I do have a few more good large, what you call them. I don't have yellow gold. Um, I do have yellow gold pendants in my Etsy shop that are absolutely ridiculous. Okay, Tracy Ann, you wanted a, th did you say thin? Or you just said faceted, small faceted. Okay, so let's see. Um, sorry that I got to wait, check all these out. I definitely have eight and a half. Uh, that's an eight and a half. Here's an eight, small faceted. Sorry, come on. So there's a small faceted Tracy Ann. That's an eight. So I got that one sitting there for you. Uh, Crystal's MW, I have this one still sitting here for you, waiting on an answer for 170. Uh, Tracy Ann, this one is 150. It's a small stone. Uh, Emily, I do have LDG and some other things. First faceted number seven. Mm, let me double check and make sure it's seven. It's like a seven and a half for who was asking. Oh, God, this is difficult. Um, miraculous Discoveries. Is this one you're talking about? This is a seven and a half. If that is a suitable size. Other sevens, seven and a half. It's uh, a couple, eight, eight. Those are more men's styles like this. So if a seven and a half works, that's what I've got in that. There's a couple other eights. I don't know what else you would be looking for. Here's a thin band one, seven and a half. With all the woven braid, I love it. I love the big circle on the bottom. I love all the woven braid. Yeah, that one is really cool, Caitlin. That one is really cool. Okay, anybody else want to see a particular ring? Still waiting on Crystal's MW one seventy on this. Tracy Ann, this one's one fifty. Are you guys in on those? Cool. Want, what do you want, Otto, Bear, Triscuit? How can I help you? We've got Moldavite rings that are faceted in approximately these sizes. They run from 150 to 300. Never mind, look at Etsy. There's a lot more to choose from on Etsy, but I don't know about the faceted ones, but we do have a lot there. So you'll, you'll get more time, so you don't have to be rushed. And uh, you get more pictures and all this stuff. So definitely do that, no problem. There's that. And so, Tracy Ann, was that her name? Tracy Ann, I'm waiting to hear from you on this one. I'm going to leave it here. I'm going to move on from these. And <clears throat> let's do this. So, yeah, just about to show the cabochon. Gonna start just showing more stuff out of the box again. This is the cabochon. Uh, let me sit down. <clears throat> I 
Nothing in my live shows is on Etsy because I cannot cross the inventory because it's an absolute nightmare for logistics. So all of my live show stuff, eventually it will go to Etsy if it doesn't sell, but I keep the stock separate because I will literally lose my shit. Like figuratively, literally, my brain, my stock, it'll go nuts. So I can't cross them over. That's what makes live shows really important because you get to see all this stock and a lot of it's the better stock. I mean, I put great stuff there too, but sometimes I just have stuff that's just laying around. It's like, oh, let's put that up now. And it's just like, you know, eventually it gets to Etsy, but it's a very long process for me to get something onto Etsy. You would think it would be easy, but I have departments in my company and it has to go through three departments before it can go on Etsy. Okay, next, more rocks. More rocks. Here's a nice little pickle pendant. It's like Pickle Rick. Oh, it was Graham's, darling. That thing is huge. <laughs> it's Graham's. It's a monster. You could knock somebody out with it. 85 on that. That's a pendant. You're going to walk in somewhere and somebody's going to be like, that's not a pendant. This is a pendant. You're going to be like, oh, I've got the biggest pendant you've ever seen. It's just like, whoa. Yes, it's going to be beautiful. You're going to love it. You're going to love it. Thank you, dear. Uh, what do you call it? 2610. That's uh, 200. That's pretty good. Uh, we got some more of these types. <clears throat> this has got the amazing pattern. Yes, you need a big fat chain. I, I, I have skinny ones, but you probably need a monster chain for that. You don't need it, but you know, you got to ball out. That piece is amazing. You got to throw it on a big fatty. Right, look, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Look, it's 210. These prices haven't gone up like the rest of them. These are prices from last year, so it's good. Look at that. You get the special deal just because supply and demand. It's good. I do have some bracelets coming. They should be here hopefully within a few days. Uh, let's see here. We got this. I'm going to run out of stuff. What else do you guys want to see? You want to see anything else? We're going to have to call it quits. We do a Moldavite show. That's a cabochon. It's really nice. It's ready to be set. It's got a little bit of a brown hue, which is cool. It's different. Look at all the bubbles in there. It's a shitload of bubbles. $14.42, $80. Amazing. It's incredible. And it's round. It's not easy to get round stones because they are not always cut because they lose more weight. Because they lose more weight. Okay, duck. We are ready to go. We are now selling this Moldavite. Oh, we are throwing stones. Oh, be careful. We have new crowd. Now this is the California crowd. I think this is the latest. I stay up and now there is all new people. So what do you do? You get the new people and you show them the rocks and then they are like, what is going on? We are in Australia. We are in New York. We are in New York. We are in the UK. I don't even know, man. It's crazy. So what is going on here? <laughs> Tracy Ann, what happened? Did I get a response that I missed it because I didn't hear you again? Do you want this ring or no? If you don't want it, it's okay. Don't be afraid. Do you say I pass? It's no problem. But I need to hear from you, please, because it is sitting here and then I will forget. So it's very good. Thank you. Any more teardrop pendants? Yes, yes, yes. Teardrop. What about these? Did, I show, did you see these? Were you here at the beginning of, the sh of this part of the show? We've got these here. These are all $60 each. <clears throat> Those are 60 each. Let me look for teardrop source. Alley 2601 and 1445. Got you on those, Alley. It's these two. Perfect. <clears throat> Uh, sorry guys, I don't have my stenographer. Uh, wait. Uh, here. All right, got it, I got it, I got it. 
We're back. We're back. We're back. LA 1442. You did it again. All right, good. You just want all the cabochons. That's great. That's a good idea. <laughs> that's a, those are good prices because you just put a little bit of silver around it and the value add is, is, is much greater than some of the others that already have it. So it's good. It's 80. All right. Okay. We're moving along. Thank you, Ali. So we got those teardrop pendants. Let me see. What do you mean by teardrop? Like this? Is that what you mean? Here's this is here's one. It's like a teardrop. That's a man. That's a good rock. Look at this beautiful rock. It's got a heart on it. There's a heart right there, and then there's something else here. There's a knob. It's a knob. <laughs> Look at the color here. This is beautiful. It's amazing, 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 amazing. So that one is three ninety. Other teardrop type bees. This one's kind of a teardrop. This one different style. This is in the cage, cage style. That's cool. It's a J. It's like wrapping around there. That one is 168. Here's a thin pendant. And it's got a little Herkimer at the top. This is made in Amsterdam. A good friend of mine. 185. That's an eight, sorry, but that's 185. Go that there. What else do you want to see? We got basically a bunch of the same stuff. It's like the same types. We've got another one of these. You know, look, it's got the bubbles here. Bubbly, bubbly, bubblies. The bubblies. This is 180. Oh, look, 180. That's beautiful. It's a nice rock. It's pretty facet. It's got the bubbles in it. It's got everything that you want and you need. And let's see what else. Hey, Daniel, what's going on? We're on the late side tonight, so welcome. We'll see how long I can last. Maybe we'll just stay up all night long showing rocks. Showing rocks. Dude, what is that? Look at the markings on that. That's pretty cool. That's a neat one. It's got a little cavern in there, a little Herkimer, and that one, 165, holy shit, what the heck? Okay, duck, what happened to this lady? She disappeared. Anyways, whatever. Okay, more all the way. We are going, going, going. Who wants more? Oh, here's a really nice teardrop. Look at this one. That is perfect. Uh, the bigger box. This, this is a hundred, five grams. From the bigger box of pebbles. What does that mean? I'm not really sure I understand what you mean. This is five grams. This is a hundred. This is ten grams. This is one ninety. They're pretty much the same thing. Oh, what's driving up the price? Supply is the biggest problem. the The, the Czech government is being total dicks about. Oh, the big box you showed. What is that? Five grams. Uh. Um, I'm, it sent me a direct message. I'll think about it. I'm not really interested in selling the rough because I'm going to process it and turn it into stuff. But this little stuff, I'm willing to sell the bigger stuff. Not really sure. I've got other plans. I'm not in a hurry with it. 
Uh, Caitlin, the biggest issue is the Czech government is not re- uh, allowing new permits to be released, and they're cracking down on people digging. Even It's even illegal to dig on your own land, which is just ridiculous. They're calling it a national treasure now, and they're going after people, and there's people still digging, but in general, it's a serious problem. There's only a few people that are legally allowed to dig, and they're starting to crack down, and so there's just not more production. Supply is the problem. It Coupled with the fact that demand... Uh, increased substantially because of TikTok and it's just the recipe for the perfect storm. So, and the prices aren't going to come down. Unfortunately, the Czech people that are still able to get material, they are used to these prices now and they're just like, what, yay, we never thought it would go like this and now we've been waiting forever and they're, I don't think they're going to, co- the only way the prices are going to come down is if there's a lot more digging and because it's not legal, even though it's done anyways, like, if they issue more permits and somebody gets to go and dig illegally, then there's a chance that the prices would come down. But like, if you're a company and you're the only one that gets a new permit, like they're not going to lower the prices. They're just going to hold it and just let it out slowly because they can, you know, and that's just how it works. So I don't anticipate the prices ever changing or coming back. You know, it's just not, that's just, it's over. (laughs) That's how it works. And it's unfortunate, but that's life. That's what happens with the, you know, supply and demand are actually natural laws. They're not like something that we made up. It's they're they exist in nature. And that's the deal. So this piece is 75. It's a raw piece. All righty, everybody. What else are we going to do here? we got a bunch of new people here that probably never heard the accents and don't even know what's going on. And they don't know that there's all these other rocks that we showed from 8 to 12, and now they're just here from the 8 from the 12 on. And they're like, 12, man, we're in California. What are you talking about, man? It's like 6 o'clock here, bro. Like, we're up, man. We're going to, like, buy some rocks. Woo! Yep. Anyways, it's good to be uh, up for the West Coast crowd. 20 gram loose pieces, like a single piece 20 grams. Um... I might have a broken one or an incomplete one, but as far as 20 grams for sale, I don't think I have anything like that anymore. I used to, but, you know, it all sold. I, I have some on Etsy. If there's, I don't think there's a 20-gram piece, but there's something. I haven't, you know, I, I didn't really get back in super hard. I like everything that we got back in when we got into Moldova. We started selling chips. I mean, I sell this hand over fist. Like a little, a little bit bigger than this, but this is, I can't keep it in stock. It's crazy. I can keep it in stock. It's just difficult because I have to re-up like all the time. Claim last 70. Yep. Thank you, Allie. Got you on that. Kind of show. Do you guys want to, do you guys like Columbia night? Do you want some Columbia night? I can definitely wholesale some of that too. I've got nice individuals and I've got um, really good quality stuff. This kind of stuff. Super textured, like really good. It's not a lot of stuff that's this textured out there. There's some, but it, anyways, you guys like this kind of stuff? You want to see some of these? Or no? Speak now. Pretty, pretty, please. Okay, Doc, let's see here. What is happening? Uh, For the new people, we are showing some others. L O seven four two seven four two. All right. I got you on that MW. You want to see some more? Allie's claiming... I got I got that, Caitlin. I already put Allie's aside. I don't know if I made it clear, but I definitely got that. MW Crystals, if you like this one, here's, a, here's another one. There's a couple of these. Really nice quality ones. Uh, yes, 10.6 grams on that first one. This one's 10 grams also. It's, it's a little bit flatter and more oval than the other one. The other one's really round. 
So there's that. This little guy, Columbia Knight. Oh, you thought it was Moldavite? No, sorry, it says Columbia Knight written right on there. <laughs> it definitely would not be Moldavite if it was 10 grams. It would be like 300 bucks, not 60 bucks. It would be more than 300 bucks. A round piece like that, Moldavite, that's probably $50 a gram now for crazy things like that, if not more. So I, I assume that you don't want to buy it since you thought it was Moldavite. <laughs> That's funny. Mm. My crystal skulls. Hello, Capitan. Is that the same? Oh, oh, got you. It's got it. I get you confused again with Ali. I mean, with uh, with Caitlin. Good to see you, Will. Bill. We up late for you tonight. It's Ali, seven forty-two. Okay, Ali, I got you on that. No problem, MW, I got you, disregard. Good to see you, Bill. Welcome, we're doing a little bit later night tonight. Let's see how long, I don't know if Instagram's gonna kick me off. Do they have a, like a, a rule about the second time? It used to be an hour, but I don't know if they changed it or not. It's already been an, almost an hour, so they might kick me off here in like three minutes. Here's a really nice pendant. Killer patterning. I love how the doming and the polishing like brings out the patterning on the back. Like the patterning is cool, but you wouldn't notice as much because it's indented and then they get it on the inside. It's just like, yo, what up with that? That one's too full T. 6.9 rounds, too full T. All right, T, what's next? Ali, do you want to see some more Colombian? All right, there's some bigger ones that are really nice too. Here's another one. 73. Uh, that one doesn't light up the same. But we've got. Here's another actual, another perfect circle. A little knobby. That one's like a little planet. I don't know if I showed that one either. That one's 741. 54. It's Columbia night. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Are they going to kick me off? I don't know. Hopefully they don't. Let's do some more. Let's do some more Ahawai. That's always something that gets people excited. Bigger Columbianite. Yes, I do. Let's do that first. Um, I have a lot of Columbianites. Fetlana, let's. Uh, let me show you the two that I have here, and if this is something that you like, I have some really big pieces. This is just what's in front of me. I have some that are like a hundred grams. I think I put those on Etsy though. They should probably be up there already. Okay, Ali, I got you on 741. Do you just like the rounds? There's a bunch of other shapes too, but the rounds are really special. They're really nice. All right, Ali, I got you on that. So, Sitlana, bigger Columbianite. That one is 148, almost 25 grams. That's a really nice stone.
for example, this is just a scoop out of the recent tray that's come in. These little guys. Yeah, I don't know. I can do those individually or by group or whatever if it's something that you're interested in. Um, let me see. I'm going to do some Aho White again. Not stuff that I showed earlier tonight. Stuff that I have shown before, but I think there's a few pieces that haven't been shown. Any oval flat? Yeah, there's tons of oval flats. Let's do that. Uh, just uh, P direct message me about that because I've got a whole tray of that, and that's something that we can easily do one at a time. This is that's a big piece, but that's a nice oval flat. That's a really nice oval flat. Seven one forty eight. So let's see here. Let's do. Let's go right for this. Some people have seen this. Some have probably not. Got a few of these, a few pendants. That's 650. A nice ahoy pendant with a really good spray a little native coppers on the side and then the ahoy is spraying really nice in the center sterling silver it's a neat little piece that one you can do that one for 350. um kittle bees i can definitely pull out and look for some flat ones if you want to do that now but it might be here's a small little flat one it was in that box that one can be done Uh, this one's 25. That little guy. And there's another one. Flat ovals. Cool. Alright. Oh, wait. There's a nice pendant. Obviously, color right up at your face. It's really at the surface. It was cabbed perfectly to capture that. It's a gold bezel and bale, and silver on the back. And, uh, 750. Here's a cab, nice square, just a little bit of color, but good size. Uh, that was 100, 100 bucks on that. This one's a banger. A killer little cab. It's small, but man, that's got a lot of saturation. It's a killer. What are you gonna do? When Yahoo White's too too brilliant, it's like, what are you gonna do? Oh my god, I'm gonna open my heart. I'm gonna love it. I'm gonna love it daily and pass it on. Spread the love. Aho White's so good like that. What a good rock. This one's 300. Cabs. Mm, here's a few. These. These were a hundred each. Uh, no, that those two were this one. Yeah, no, that's fine. So these are a hundred each. Nice little sprays in there. No native copper in that one. Why are they low on supply? 
uh, because they haven't found any. There's nothing that's come out of the ground, really, since 2012. There was a little bit of scratching around at a road cut, and they found some, uh, you know, not some, they found some not very nice crystals, like a couple years ago. Did you go over the moldavites? Anything left? Uh, there's plenty of moldavite left. Uh, this is what I showed. So, pendants. Got this monster, almost 80 grams. That one's really expensive. Necklace, pendant. This is one face polish. It's really nice. Recap. Moldavite recap real quick, everybody. Here's a faceted pendant. That's Columbia Knight. There's a little drop. That's a pickle rick right there. That one's 250. That's the Moldavite recap. What did you think about these cabs? They're low on supply because they haven't been dug. That's pretty much the main reason. Seven fifty. Seven fifty is. Uh, Ali, you want to help me figure out what that is? <laughs> what kind? Oh, Columbia Night. Gotcha. Sorry. Easy. Got you on that. Thank you. I was like, all oh, this Moldavite's in the two thousands. What is this seventeen? All right, Ali, I got you on seven fifty. Thank you. Here, while we're at it, I'll show you this one. This one's like an egg. This is a Columbia night. Cool. So this one's almost like a lingam. It's a little bit less dimension here than it is here. It's a little flat, but it's pr almost perfect like a lingam. Which is pretty cool. And it's got okay translucency. Uh, just for entertainment, I'll leave it there since you liked those other ones. That one's 162. Uh, what'd you think about those calves? Here's another. This is another little Ahoy crystal. Let's see this one. 749 too. Thank you, Allie. smaller Columbia Knights. This one has I don't know what you call it. It's like a, almost like a rune symbol or something. Maybe it's like, looks like a Hebrew character or something like that. That one. 73. Sid Lamekin has 749. Okay. Cool. Svetlana, she's giving you 749. Thank you, Allie. That was cool. Um, Alright, I got it. That's her first one, so I gotta spell it right. This is where I can screw up details. S V E T Lana. Svetlana Halser.
Okay, back to it. Oh, you wanted a bigger one. Oh, all right, gosh. Okay. No worries. <laughs> Sheesh, I wasn't keeping up with the crowd. Now we go back this way. Got it. Perfect. All right, sweet. So this is the last two Columbia Knights in front of me. That one had a like a rune type of thing on it. This one has like a really deep, deep divot. And that one. Really good translucency on that one. That one's 74. Keep that one there. So those are the last two Columbia Knights that I'm gonna show you tonight. Um, and as far as our way goes, had this one. It's polished all the way around, ready to stand up, ready to put into jewelry. Nice little cap there. Boom. Boom. Ready to go. What are you going to do? Yeah, it's like a walnut. Kind of. It's a lot smaller than a walnut. But it's crazy looking. That's a really good one. I like that one. Aha White. All kinds of other minerals in there. Look at that. We got hematite. We got some black hematite. We got some tannerite. We got some hematite. We got some, what is that green there? That looks like tangiite. Oh, fuck, is that tangiite or maybe chromite? That there, that's a rare one. That green there, that's not just epidote. That's something good. The Messina mine, this whole area has produced like at least 27 inclusions in quartz, if not like 50, but they've only identified like 27 of them. And it's just crazy how many things that come in there. You could get 10 or 15 minerals in one freaking quartz. It's like, oh my God, what are we going to do? There's like all these amazing crystals and all this stuff going on in there. And it's just like in one, inside of one quartz. Like, well, oh my God, look here, I want to spread it open so you can see here. Come on, zoom in. Come on. I can't zoom in any farther on my phone. Look. That's pretty cool. Got to get excited about minerals and inclusions, I tell you what. Always get excited about quartz inclusions. I don't know what it is. Ever since I started figuring out rocks and learning rocks, it's like, dude, what's up with these inclusions? It's so cool. That one's 285. You got the chromite's probably more rare than ahawite. Ahawite, you know, there's a bunch more of that. It's chromite is different. All right, T, what next? Let's see what we got. We got excited about cabochons. Maybe they were too expensive. That's all right. Here's two Papagoite cabochons. Those little guys here, this is 120 each. Those are really nice. All right, what's next? What's next? We got a whole new crowd. What you want to see? Woo! There's ahoyite everywhere. It's coming out of my ears. And speaking of minerals, look at all these minerals. It's like dendritic chaos in there. It's like, holy shit, man. There's all them dang minerals in there. Them epido and them hematite. I mean, them dendrite, man. There's probably some native copper up in there, man. You know it. Ahoyite. Some lemon limonite. Lemon and limonite right there. There's lemon limonite, man. There's going to get some dendrite. Some, shoot, there's got to be some tannerite. That white shit. I don't even know what that is, man. It's probably calcite or something. No, it's not calcite. But I don't know. It's brown and white, man. It's beautiful. Holy Christmas. I never seen nothing like that in there, them courts. Them courts is funny, man. In Messina, they got like all them courts and all them minerals of 27 up in one courts, man. It's great. This one there has 400. That's pretty. It's ready to set in jewelry. You just cap it and then boom, ready to go. Tell you what, 
Y'all's probably, mostly people here probably knew, they didn't even know what's going on. They're just like, man, what the hell is he talking about? Look at this here. This is a Papagoite heart, man. It's got a little Ahwite in the middle. Look, look at there. Look at there. It's a little bit of Ahwite there. He's got two eyes and a nose and mouth. It's like a heart with a smile. That's the coolest rock. I can't believe I still have this rock. This rock is so cool. I love it. Maybe I'm supposed to keep it. Well, there you go. Papagoite, a little bit of Ahwite. It's like a heart with a face on it, man. Shoot. I guess if I'm supposed to keep it, I'm supposed to keep it. I keep enough of them, though. I'll tell you what. What else we got here? There's another cabochon. This one's marked a little bit more. Uh, Y'all don't want to see that. Let me put that one back. All right, what's next? What's next here? Here's a little one. We got this little one here. Little jewelry one. It's got a little... Oh, shit, man. Well, it was a double terminated. It's got a phantom in there. It's got a phantom in there. Little, little buddy. That one's a cheapy. Cheapest one I ever sold. $50. Somebody buy it quick before it goes away. Don't know what's happening here, man. All these people come in. They're like, man, what's going on? I've never seen this dude before, man. He's from like 14 places all at the same time. He don't even know what's going on. Uh, yeah, man, I don't even know what's going on with you. We selling rocks or what? What y'all want to see? I'm going to wrap it up. It's getting late. It's done getting late. It's already tomorrow where I am. You know what I mean? What are we going to do next? What did I miss? The instrument in this post is... The instrument. You talking about the little mouth harp? I can do that again. You want to play some mouth harp? Let's do it. We don't need to see no more rocks. Who wants to see some arrows? Y'all done? I think we're done with rocks. Ain't we done? Rusty, bring out your best Ahoite. What do you mean? Bring out your best Ahoite. I sold some of my best, best, best Ahoite I sold like a month ago to a new customer who's in love with it and just had to have it. That doesn't mean I don't have awesome shit. But let's see here. This is probably the best one on the table. Ah, that other one might have been, but this is a little bit better shape here, so... Let's do this. You want the best, the best one here. This is the best one of the night. How about that? The best one on the table. Is that good enough? Same sound of the Trumpy in Chile, indigenous. Very nice. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed it. I, uh, yeah, we started out tonight a, a little bit earlier in the first part of the show. We play, started out with a beer and bow, which is a pretty magical instrument. Uh, this one, all right, here. There you go. It's the best one. The best one for the night. Okay, duck. 
What is next? Claim 1372. Which one is that? Oh, yes. That's awesome. Thank you so much, Chandishol. Oh, yes, she got it. Sorry, Emily. Chandishol. I can't remember how you broke it up last night, but she got it. Thank you, dear. Appreciate it. So this one, 1372 is Chandishol. I apologize. I don't remember how to pronounce the name again. Uh, let's see. Thank you, dear. I appreciate it. Chant day. Ch chant day. Chant day. Perfect chant day. Chant day. Chant day. That's like the day that we... Oh. All right. What are we going to do next? I could play some music and be done. I could be done. I could show you some more rocks. Then we should do a recap of all the shit that you guys didn't see at the first show. How about that? So this is Amalite. It's from Canada. That's 150. This is Dragon Skin Amalite. This is killer shit, man. Look at this. Look at this. It's like the green dragon. These are Stibnite included crystals, which are really rare. There's not very many of them that are nice terminated crystals with Stibnite inside. These are from China. I got three of those. That one's 70, 85. Only two of those. I must have sold one. Uh, yes. Uh, we got some amber. Some amber. You know, Indonesian amber here. Some cheap $20, $15, $22. There's a little lingam looking one that's $24. It look, it's like red amber, and it's beautiful. This one's multicolored. It's beautiful. It's got a, what do you call it? A, it's caramel white amber in there. It's really awesome. That's good. That one's $24. Ah, we got some really nice mineral specimens and some inclusions. Oh, look at this. This is a red rutile on top of a, a mica star inside a really water clear quartz. It's totally natural. I just made it last week. Came off the, C, uh, off the 3D printer. I'm getting pretty good at it. Just kidding. Can't can't mimic nature like this. No way. This is awesome. That's an amazing piece. That one's 275. That's a big old piece. Look at this. This is hemat uh, pyrite. Pyrite crystals all throughout the quartz. You can see the big ones there. It's a dodecahedron on one side, on the other side it's flat probably. I can't zoom in. With one hand, that's lame. Anyways, that's some recap. This is a nice Japanese law twin crystal, which is really good. $190 on that. It's a killer. Citrines. We had a bunch of nice citrines tonight. I can take out some more for next week. That one, I can't see. I'm blinding myself. 34 bucks, 20 bucks, 30 bucks. Citrine, natural, not treated. Directly from the mine in Zambia. Been doing business in Zambia directly for about seven or eight years. Yeah, and I've had some various mining projects there. Nice citrine, that one's 78. 48 for that one. Anyway, Super 7 pendants. That's really nice. Let's zoom in. That Labradorite you guys probably didn't see if you're just here now. So that's a really nice Super 7 amethyst with red needles in there. That one is 195. Here's a pink sugilite ring. It's 250. Here's a really nice bright sugilite jelly ring. That's underpriced at 175. That's uh, a, a killer demortierite. Really nice pendant. It's really hard to get nice full sprays isolated in the middle of crystals in order to get them to uh, ice, you know, just be on their own. We've got some killer labradorite, really ridiculous pieces. That one's 40 bucks.
48. And it's full flash, new type of labradorite with a bunch of different colors. Lots of pinks and oranges. Look at this thing. This is crazy. 65. Is there still anybody left from the first show that's hanging around? Any, any requests or something that you have on your mind? I'm probably going to wind it down here in a minute unless you guys have some input. And it's been a great show. Thank you all for being here and for coming back. I really appreciate it. Cool. All right. I'm going to mess around with some musical instrument. Are you posting the replay? Uh, the replay, sh the first replay should have already been posted, and then this one I will post the replay as well, Liz. Um, I'm assuming it already posted. I pushed the button, but it might not have gone completely through, so we'll figure it out. No, I had these oh sorry i don't have to type these oh my god what the fuck it must be late yeah no i can just talk to you duh did you cut the labradorite yourself no i uh, commissioned all of that to be cut in madagascar i can't believe i just tried to type you <laughs> I'm, I'm fucking tired okay that might be the last uh question there so let me think i'm gonna get moldavite pendant yeah there's lots of moldavite pendants we already we already did a lot of those pendants Pendants. Pendants. Cool. Thanks, Liz. Yeah, it'll definitely be up. I'm going to uh, play some music and then be done here. Yes, BB Ahoy Peace Top Left. Let me do that first before I play some music. Ahoy Peace Top Left. This piece is just as good as the one that I said was the best piece. The shape is only a little bit off. Like that other one was a good piece for jewelry, but this one has more saturation and it has other really nice pieces, inclusions and whatnot. This is, yeah, it's one of the best ones that I have left from this uh, run that I did. It's really, really, really nice. It's 2750, 2, You're welcome to make other requests. I don't really have any uh, restrictions, I guess, in terms of time. So I'm just going to play, and I'll see your messages if you want me to show you something else. Ahoy. Is a huge heart chakra opener. It clears a lot of the chakras it's, uh, itself, but the heart is really where it does a lot of its magic. It connects the heart and the mind.
Thanks for being here. Hope you caught that. <laughs> Have a good night.